is here at the Welcome Collection Conference Centre in North London for Microsoft's biggest product launch of the year, Windows Server 2008. Now we can't actually go inside the presentation of the film, the security is pretty tight, so we're just going to give you a flavour of the event and grab a couple of interviews while we're here. Today's product launch, which also includes Visual Studio 2008 and SQL Server 2008, has already been the subject of articles like this in the FT this week. Clearly the battle for control for corporate data centres and office desktops is hotting up. We spoke to Larry Ereklin, General Manager for Virtualization, about what this product could do for Microsoft. VMware is currently the market leader in the virtualization market. Do you see the, the today's product launches um, well, first I, I take issue uh, in saying that VMware is the market leader. Certainly VMware had done a terrific job in, uh, in one part of virtualization, which is, uh, which is server virtualization. Uh, but the thing to keep in mind is, although they certainly are the market share leader, it's very, very early. And it's, it's early innings. Here. And the fact that less than 5% of servers are actually virtualized today. Uh, means that, that really all the opportunity is in front of us. And we believe that if, if you look at the lineup of products we're bringing, which is our Hyper-V technology combined with System Center, our management solution, you look at um, the economics that we're able to bring it to market with, which is very compelling, uh, combined with our management solution, which we really believe differentiates us, that, uh, that customers are going to find that uh, very compelling and are, are really excited to try so, so why do you think it is that IT directors and managers will buy your products today rather than those of your competitors? Um, I, I think it's those three things that I just talked about. Uh, number one is that uh, for virtualization for us is a feature of the OS. And as such, all of the skills that you have in your organization today, the companies rely on around Windows and around Microsoft, are directly leverageable. You don't have to build up a separate infrastructure to learn a new set of skills to, to learn VMware as you do with uh, as you do with, with Microsoft. Second is it's around the management. The way we've architected our management solutions is from a single pane of glass, you're able to manage the physical and virtual worlds together, and you're able to manage not only the machine but the applications that are running within that virtual machine. That's what customers tell us that they really want, and that's what System Center is all about. And then finally, it's about the economics, which the price point that we're able to bring us, because it's a feature of the OS, and because of how we, are, we go to market with our, with our system center solutions, we're really uh, trying to enable broad adoption in the industry, where to date, as I said, you have such a small percentage of servers that are actually virtualized. So for many companies, it would now be, it'd be a, a sort of more cost-effective option to adopt, or be easier for them to enter into the virtualization. Absolutely. And on top of that, for even for customers that have already made a VMware decision for part of their environment, is we have announced that System Center, a management solution, manages not only uh, Microsoft virtualization, but VMware, ESX, as well as other virtualization platforms as well. So you're able to take a single management solution, keep your VMware implementation in place, and as you go to expand, um, you're able to expand on Microsoft technologies and manage both from a single pane of glass. That's what customers tell us that they're looking for. So do you see virtualization as being a sort of key battleground for the sort of control of the corporate IT? Um, it's, it's certainly a great opportunity because uh, for all the hype and all the excitement, it is a transformational technology in that what it can do to reduce the cost structure um, of a company, what it can do to increase agility, my ability to now to do things like, like uh, disaster recovery, business continuity, uh, on-demand uh, you know, load balance, and those sorts of things are profound and the return is quick. So we actually think it's going to have a, a huge impact on a uh, customer's infrastructure. But the thing to keep in mind is as great and as transformative a technology as it is, it's only one piece of the technologies you need to really get to what we talk about is that dynamic IT. That's what customers are about, and that's where it takes the infrastructure, it takes the application platform, it takes the management, all working together to really deliver.